Could have just get this one a little bit set up a little bit better, but. Make sure, making sure I'm not gripping it on the threads, so. I could, you know, easily use two nuts, but it's coming out pretty easy. All right, All right back to the valves. Sorry about that. Let me see the uh, the clips. If we get the clips off, oh, I, got, I think I got one. Oh, fell down the hole. I think I think they're both off. Yeah, both off. So. Release the tension a little bit before I snap it up. I don't know what that noise was. That's weird. Is there, a, is there a centerpiece to this or something? Literally, I had it in my hand, it made a noise. Oh. Alright, All right, so that's the... Yeah. Alright, so here's everything for the exhaust. So. Let me get some containers for this. Ooh. Oh, that's go that goes on here. Alright. Let me get uh, something to put all that exhaust stuff in. Alright. So we have exhaust, 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 and exhaust. So keep all this together the uh, retaining clip the spring retaining clip is underneath it so I gotta go dig that out let's find that it looks good on the uh, pressure relief compression relief I should say This mess is driving me a little ballistic.
is. And there they are. So here's the two retaining clips for the um, springs. Basically, these are what go underneath. this right here so these two lock on so I'll do it real quick so the spring is up here imagine it's in the obviously imagine it's in the engine so this is the top so this is the top section and the spring goes on and this goes on and these I'm assuming are kind of like <laughs> actually they're exactly like if anyone's bought any of those wire racks where you have the two plastic clips that set the height of the uh, rack that's what that is that wedges on like that and it goes on like that a lot of different um, the engines the Gravely engine has a single like C clip so it's got a curved side and a flat side. So, so this is exhaust. I'll have to write exhaust on it. Or just keep it separated. There, so. All right, let's do the, uh, let's get at the other one. I think I'd probably prefer just a uh, more of just a C-clamp rather than this one with a toggle, but Wife said, hey, these extra containers, we're not using them in the house. Do you want them out for your shed? I said, yes. So perfect timing. So let's get the valve out. Ooh, a little tight. Seems a little seems a little st stuck. Hmm. Valve actually seems a little warped too. So let's. Uh, hmm. Weird. So how am I gonna get this out? Definitely seems like it's like leaning towards the back here. Just the camera. Seems like this is like tilted back. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like high over here and low over here. So hopefully, once we get it out, let's see if we spin it and see if uh, it's bent. If it's bent, that's gonna suck. Oh, we'll have to uh, definitely clean this up, that's for sure. It's definitely uh, all nasty.
So let's uh, let's give you a closer look. Definitely uh, a little, definitely a little nasty in there. So let's uh, let me get let me get a paper uh, rag or something. Here we go. So it's definitely um, definitely gritty, which is not necessarily good, but I'll be able to clean that up. So hopefully, I'll have to take a look and see how good these valve seats look and how good the valves look. Put the valve in a, you know, maybe a drill and just spin it and see how it looks. Seems okay, just the perception of it. I don't know. I'll put it on the wire wheel and then take a closer look at right, it. Cleaned up the uh, valves. The intake, you know, looks looks good like they normally do. There's, you know, there's not much wear on it. It looks nice and clean. Um, no, really, no pitting. So this is definitely uh, going to be reused. The exhaust valve, on the other hand is uh i think shotsky so as we look as i rotate it oh look at that gouge so yeah it's definitely um been beaten on on one side i don't know why but um yeah definitely not really good so let's uh let me look at the um let me clean up the you know the these bores a little bit I have a uh, wire brush on a uh, brass brush, I should say, um, on the drill, so I'll cl try cleaning that up a little bit. Looks like the exhaust one will probably need something a little more aggressive, even on this one. So let me go get my other tool, which I like using. I'll be back in a second. All right, here's my other tool that I use with a drill. Basically the same. I use this piece. Um, this is something I made a while ago to wind up straps, like uh, uh, load straps. Uh, on my truck, I have some real the two inch ones that are really, really long, it takes forever to do it by hand. So I made this a while ago for that, but I also use it for this, which is I take some of that uh, 3M, you know, abrasive pad. I got some of this at the uh, Zagre. So I take it and then wrap it and I put it in the drill. Just mess that up. Hold on. Okay, it's tight. Just make sure it locks in. Go a little bit, choke a little bit up on it. Lock it in place. Nice job cleaning it up. Actually, a really nice job. <laughs> so, I could have just get this one a little bit set up a little bit better, but. Cleaned up. Show you a little bit closer. So if you look, I don't know if I'm tough. Hold on, let me switch. Cleans it up pretty good. And you don't have to worry about it over, you know, taking any metal out or, you know, it's not, it's not like it's sandpaper. So, um, polishes it up really good. You can see it's nice and clean there. Um, it gets obviously the stuff you get hit. So it's, 
some of the sp spots it doesn't hit as well, but it does a nice job on this this inner ring here. You can see. Hold on, let me get a, get a light. So there you go. Much nicer. So let me uh, I'm gonna do a little bit more, and then uh, we'll start uh, taking some other stuff out. <laughs> 